What's up you guys, I am Extra Eric and we have an incredible week of music ahead of us. I am so excited to be starting out this week with a reaction to Kylie Minogue's new song, Say Something, off of her upcoming 15th album, Disco. She is a legend, she is iconic, she has influenced everybody in music and I'm so excited to be doing this reaction today because I thought this week I was only going to be getting a Little Mix song, their new single, Holiday, and then we got Kylie's Disco dropped on us out of nowhere in the first single, and then Taylor is surprise dropping her new album, Folklore, tomorrow. This is, it's just so much that I can't even contain my excitement because these are major songs by major artists that we're getting and it's like, they're all coming at once. As crazy as 2020 has been, all of our faves have really been delivering music from Do It A Gaga to Taylor to Katie and beyond. There are so many artists dropping albums this year and it's the one thing we need with everything that's going on in the world. But like I said, I love Kylie Minogue so much and I'm such a fan of hers and I lived for her last album, Golden Hot Take. I know a lot of people didn't like it, but I did like the country element that she threw on every Thing. I lived for Raining Glitter, One Last Kiss, A Lifetime to Repair, Shelby 68, Low Blow. So many songs on the album were so fantastic and everything she delivers is always incredible and she's known for dance music. So the fact that she's making a disco album is just, it's so huge. Love at first sight, all the lovers, get out of my way. Like all of her music, she has just released some of the, the biggest songs in the world. And I know she isn't as big in the US as she is internationally, which is a crime, but her music is just so iconic. It is so legendary. She is such an icon. Words cannot describe Kylie Minogue because she is just such a fantastic woman. Everything about her is amazing. As much as I have raved about Dua Lipa's future nostalgia on my channel, I would like to highlight that Dua revealed Kylie Minogue is a huge influence of hers and Kylie's song Slow from her 2005 album Body Language is Dua's favorite song and that has influenced a lot of what we've gotten out of Dua Lipa recently. The fact that she's tapping into this sound and just we're not ready for what she's going to be giving us. I saw waves of compliments about this song on social media today and everybody's freaking out about how great it really is and the fact that she's going down this lane. So I'm so excited. Apparently it is the disco dance floor banger that we all need. So I don't want to wait any longer. I am going to listen to Kylie Minogue's Say Something. I can't even believe that we're getting this. I got a little bit of an intro. Ooh, the scents. Oh, this is dirty. It's like crazy thundering outside. It's giving me like Gaga 911 vibes in a lot of different ways. The instrumentation stuff in the background. Oh my God. It's almost like a little twang to it. You can hear the disco elements, but it's, a, it's so modernized. It's like not classic disco as I was really expecting. Oh my God, this is, mm, this is good. Serve! Oh my God. She's doing classic Kylie stuff on this and it is so incredible. I thought the chorus was gonna hit a bit harder, but I think that's what I like about this so far is it's a song that's not trying to be like a massive anthem. It's just the perfect listen. It's exactly what you need to just stay dancing on the dance floor. It's just so crisp and it's so clean is the easiest song to listen to. It is just so good to just sit back and take it all in. It's a little bit of positivity in this crazy world. Say something, tell me how you're feeling. Oh, we are off to a fantastic start this era. It's such a crime that we cannot be on dance floors dancing to this. Can we all be as one again? Literally what we need more than anything what a timely song. I wonder if like this whole thing inspired everything in this song. Ooh, that's interesting. I love that even though the lyrics are repeating, they're doing different things with the production to make it seem as if there's different things happening. It keeps you dancing. It is amazing. I live for all of this. This is so classic Kylie. I think this whole outro is like the best part of the song to be dancing to. I was not expecting it. It's just like repeating so much. And then it's just, you want to just keep on going and not stop. I want it to double in length. A vocal's flawless. Amazing. Ooh, I love the vocal layerings in the back. I love also how this is just like fading out from where we were dancing before. It's like we're really slowing down, getting to the end of the song. Perfect. I love how that ended. 
This is a classic Kylie. I think this is what everybody has been waiting for. As much as I loved Golden, I loved every song from front to back. I thought it was an incredible album, but I feel like a lot of longtime Kylie fans, people were kind of not loving the country twanged music as much, and they wanted that classic Kylie bop. And like, this is literally classic Kylie. It is what she does best. It is what she is known for, and it's why she is an icon. The song has like a whimsical and like an effervescent feeling in a lot of ways, and it's something that only she can deliver. Like, this is a very Kylie song and I mean that with the utmost respect because it's this feeling that only Kylie Minogue can deliver when you listen to Kylie Minogue there's not no one else can do that no one else can sing like that it's the way she sings the way the songs are produced like the way she makes you feel and the way the music makes you feel that to me is a huge part of disco and why so many people long for that genre is just because the feeling you get with the music and just, I can't even imagine this on a dance floor. This is going to be next level on a dance floor. And that outro part, like I said, when it kind of goes back and forth with the repeating lines a lot, I pulled up the lyric sheet to look at it and it's pretty long, but at the same time, when you're listening to it, you don't want it to end. You want it to keep going back and forth because it's like the best part of the song. I love the opening line of the song so much too, when she says we're a million miles apart in a thousand ways. And it's just the way that this song hits in 2020, I would love to know the story behind it. I want her to do an interview and talk about how she came up with the song because I really want to know if it's something she's crafted in the past few months while we've been in these quarantine periods due to COVID-19. Not only do people want disco music now and people want music that's going to put them on the dance floor because we can't be in clubs. We can't enjoy this music in the venues that it's meant to be enjoyed in. She's delivering us an empowering message and like one of positivity and it's the way she's crossing all of these different things is just like check off the list of like what makes a bop. There's so much about this song that I really need to dive in and listen to it a few times more because I think it's a song that you really have to sit with for a while to really appreciate everything about it and notice every little detail and those different things that make you go, hmm. The song's a smash at first listen. It's definitely not a grow ride, but I think it's a smash that is, is gonna continue to be a favorite. It's not a song you can easily get sick of because of just how perfectly it's fashioned. Kylie did say she is going to drop her new album, Disco, in November, I believe on the 6th. So we do have to wait a little bit longer for it, but at least it's gonna come later in the year and it's something we can take into 2021 with us and really start enjoying it when the world turns around. Kylie, thank you for the song and thank you for putting out this album because I already know it's going to be everything that we need and more and I just cannot wait for it and I hope we get a few more singles before it actually drops. I'm so excited because you know when an artist just drops music and it makes you so happy and it just changes everything about life. I'm just so happy because I love when artists really deliver us an era, then give us something that we're gonna have for so long and get so into it and it's gonna make us so happy. And I feel like we are in for an era with this because disco is by no means dead. So I wanna know what did you guys think about Kylie's new song, Say Something? Did you love it as much as I did? Let me know in the comments. And while you are down there, subscribe to my channel and turn the alert bell on because I will be continuing to serve you many more reactions and music videos. Plus tomorrow I'll be diving into Little Mix's new single, Holiday, which I'm so excited about and Taylor's dropping her new album Folklore, so I'll be reacting to Cardigan in the music video as well. Until next time.